Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, this video is going to be an answer for somebody comment. Uh, as you see the title, someone said that it's not very respectful to mock another belief. See the roots of terrorism can be in that statement. First of all, why I have to respect your belief? Who said I should respect your belief? Where do you get this idea from? And who said you should respect my belief too? Who told you that? You see, you can respect a person if he is a good person. Um, don't treat people bad, don't be rude, I understand. But I believe it's not, it's not a person. Believe is not a person. So what do you mean it's not respect? What does that mean? If somebody believes that he can rape your wife, do you say to him, I respect your belief? If someone believes he can kill you and take your money, do you say to him, I respect your belief? What does that mean? So usually, or sometimes, we find people who they are throwing statements I find them funny and silly. What do you mean? Uh, respect. What what the word respect mean exactly? All the Quran saying the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus, whatever, who don't believe in, in Allah or the last days, he is a kafir, he's a filthy, he's a pig. No goes on. So what do you mean respect? You respect somebody saying to you, you are a pig. Hmm. So I wanted to make this video to make it clear that those who speak about respect mostly, they are very shallow. Number one, I believe is not a person. If you are a person who is insulting, let us say, how come, how come people, they make videos or movies, uh, it's very popular, famous actors, and they say the F word to Jesus in a movie, and, the, and the Jesus has nothing to do with the movie. I mean, why you put the name of Jesus there? So, it's very silly how people, they try to justify evil. A person, he is saying the bad word to Jesus. It makes me upset. <clears throat> But he's free to say whatever he wants. <clears throat> you can say he's filthy, you can say he's sick, you can say whatever you want. The same as he says things, you can say things too. So, some people they have a wrong understanding of us being a human. To be a human is to be free in the way you think and the way you believe. Somebody he make fun of the Bible, okay, well, he find the Bible funny. All right, so he finds it funny. For me, I don't find it funny. So what? What do? What do you mean? Don't mock? Because the second you say he don't believe, as an example, if a Muslim he says to me he believes Jesus is just a man, he is not God, that is offending me. So should he, can can he say that? No, he can. This is his belief. Muslim believe actually everything is a Muslim belief is a mockery for other beliefs. So it's very naive when somebody tries to present to us an idea speaking about what is right and what is wrong. Somebody want to make a cartoon of me or a Christ or, okay, so? Uh, you have to be smart, you have to be intelligent, you have to be intellect. Otherwise, don't go. Don't listen to people who want to say things. People, they say things will make you upset. Who said that everybody have to say things you like to hear? If you don't like to hear something negative, don't get married. Your wife, she might say to you something very upsetting. Don't have a mother-in-law. Because uh, what you call mockery can be something you face every day. So to make it simple, 
Mockery is not the problem. Doing something against it by violence is the problem. The guy he mocked mockery, you can refute him by mocking mockery. Some people, they are mockery people, which means it's a, it's, a, it's a stupid thing. They, they do nothing. They don't, they don't answer you. They make a mockery. Okay, this is how he is. But let's say he's a trashy person. If you notice here, we are not making fun of a person. We are making argument. It might be sound like a mockery, but this is the truth. I mean, we show you what Muhammad said. It's funny. It's stupid. So what we can do? We will say to you, it's smart. When Muhammad says, Shaitan, he's sleeping in your nose. What do you want to say to a Muslim? Your prophet, he's right. Yes, scientists, they found this is true. You know? So what do you want exactly? What do you want us to say in order not to be making a mockery? What we will do? We will say to you, we agree with you. Shaitan, he pisses in your ears, sleep in your nose, laugh at you when you do yawning and jump inside your mouth. Because if we make a cartoon about it, because it's stupid, that will be a mockery. Hmm. So, you know, to make it, uh, to make it simple, uh, the problem is not the mockery. The problem is the, the belief which is teaching if somebody make a mockery of our belief, kill him. Actually, this belief saying kill them even if they don't make mockery. What Muhammad he said? I still have the video of the. I might play it for you again. Should I play it for you? About the fly, they found it. They found the the medicine for the fly. Maybe later we can take a break if we want to break. Grab some tea or coffee. Uh, if you go in the hadith. You will find Muhammad saying, <coughs> Kill those who don't believe in Allah. And the Quran says, chapter 9, verse 29, You make a mockery, you don't make a mockery, he will kill you. Do you think really if you don't make a mockery, you will not be killed? Uh, the person we saw what happened to him, the teacher, the victim, who is everybody, all his students, they say he's a wonderful person. He is not killed because of the mockery. They target him because of the mockery. But he, every, every one of you can be the target. When somebody drive a bus or a truck and he go over people in the Christmas market, did they do mockery? No. Actually, last time there's an attack in, uh, uh, I forgot, I think in Netherlands. I forgot where. The woman, she was a pregnant and she was stabbed more than eight times. She used to call anyone who insult Islam Islamophobic. She defend Islam. She's not Muslim, you know. She is just one of those weirdo in Europe who think Islam is a good religion, who think that we are not being fair. So she calls us uh, Islamophobic. You know, Islam is nice. Islam is peace. And then she got stabbed eight times. She never mocked Muhammad. She was just a woman walking in the street. A guy is having a knife, he start stabbing people, whoever in the way. And she was in his way. So, when you think, or if you think, that because you make a mockery, they are going to go after you, you are mistaken. They are going to go after you because you don't believe in Islam and the proof in front of you. I've been commanded to fight every human being. To kill them, fight here is to the word coming from uqatil, which means fight to kill. Anyone who don't believe in Allah and Muhammad is a prophet until they declare that there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but Muhammad. If you declare that and then you have, after you declare, not enough, he might kill you still. You have to pay Muhammad, you have to pray as he ordered you to pray, you have to eat as he ordered you to eat, even the food. You have to do everything he said. And then and only then, I will not, their blood and their property will be sacred from us. So what is going to protect your blood? According to Muhammad, is that you make not, not making mockery? No. Is that you not attacking? No. Not making books about Islam? No. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is not doing good. I think I drank too much coffee today. 
So don't be a fool and think that those, this religion is after you because out, or after somebody. They are after every single human being in this earth until everybody became subdued to the gang of Muhammad. Right? <clears throat> Uh, I saw some comments in the previous video about my neighbor who have a leak in his roof. Uh, this is a different topic, but just I remember. The person, he says, the insurance company, they have to pay if there's a disaster. Who said there's a disaster? He had a leak. What a disaster? Do you think we have an earthquake? People are funny. And uh, yeah, if you have an insurance, I guarantee you 99% they will not pay for your insurance. They will find anything in the contract to avoid paying. This is how they make money, by not paying. So if you have an insurance, they'll send you a booklet and there's maybe 50 pages of them. They are so small to read and they made them so small for the purpose of the day you need them. I'm just making a comment about that, I mean, person. They make them small so you cannot read them. And when something happened, you call them, you think you are covered. You say, oh, it says in the section, it says, where is that? It says, you see that page, the small letters? open page etc read it okay you'll find yourself you are not covered they are like official fraud insurance companies most of them they are official fraud anyway going back to the topic as long as we are mentioning insurance uh, Muhammadi assure you that he will not kill you only if you do this if you say that he is a prophet, if you say Allah is God, if you pray as he asks you to pray, which means you have to say even exactly the same word, you have to stand exactly as he told you. You have even to face the direction, even the direction you are free. You have to face a certain direction, the Kaaba. You have to slaughter as we slaughter, which means you have to eat as we eat. And then, and only then, their blood and their property will be sacred from us. Sorry, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not going to take calls from Muslims unless they are big sheikhs. If you are a sheikh, make a challenge for me in your Facebook. I will see it. I will take your call. Is that fair, guys? We have enough of kids. Uh, I mean, I, I you talk to them, I lose my voice. They call you names. And you are not qualified anyway. Are you qualified to call me? What you will say to me? You will say to me, I don't agree with Sahih Bukhari. You will say to me, I don't agree with Ibn Kathir. Don't waste my time. Yeah, we did not really do any work because simply he don't know where the, where the leak is, you know. He, have no, he don't know where the leak is happening. So, you know, I help him a little bit with the tarp. He want to put the tarp. He's a very nice guy. Anyway. <clears throat> Uh, usually always Muslims who call us or try to deep or to let us say try to argue uh, you will find all of them they play one game I don't agree with that I don't accept that so why you call me you see we are talking about Islam not about something I make and you make Islam is what your prophet said oh this hadith is not authentic who is the one who make it authentic and who is the one who is making it not authentic? You? So they play a game, uh, which means, you know, you cannot have a debate unless it is between two decent people and both they believe. Believe in what? Believe in their belief. Most of them, they don't believe in their belief. They defend their belief, but they don't know what they believe. How you can defend your belief if you do not know your belief? You, you will see most of them, they say to you, we never heard this before. So why are you calling me? All of them, they never heard this before. Where you got this from? I have no idea what is this. And in the best scenario, they will say to you, even the one who claimed that he have knowledge, if you remember David Wood and Mimi in the debate, uh, Mimi, he said to him, who said so when he asked him about Allah have body parts? They can deny easy. So don't waste my time. We want people who they have education and they have a title. Then when they say something, they will become the joke of everybody if they deny it. You, as a kid, you can say whatever you want. You can get away with it. Right? You can say it doesn't say that. You can say it's not there. 
Uh, you are just, you know, you are just, uh, just a person who do not know. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm going to go soon because this person, his wife, she invited me uh, to eat some cookies to my neighbor house because I heard them. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to go, but they might think it's rude if I go, if I don't go. Anyway, uh, so if you think that we should not make a mockery, the whole world is a mockery. You watch the news, people make mockery of each other. You make mockery of everything around you. This is not good. This is bad. The second you say your opinion, you are making mockery of something. As soon as it is negative. Make a negative comment. It's a mockery. So everybody, uh, you know, uh, disagree with you he's making a mockery of you if, if you say to me jesus is not god you you know how you can believe that mary she gave birth to jesus and she was virgin this is a mockery the question is a mockery according to my belief but you have the right to to say whatever you want you have the right to agree disagree to, to laugh who am i to stop you god created you with ability and freedom who am i to take it from you All right so uh when somebody if you are not a, a person ready to go and take a mockery from somebody because of a belief well don't go in the belief don't 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 say i'm going to debate you about your belief because the second you debate about a belief you are going to make a mockery the whole debate is about I reject your belief. That is a mockery. That means your belief is, is false. Your belief is stupid. I mean, we can add all the titles you want. So either we, you know, we have a human being who accept that the other person, he can make a mockery of our belief and we can make mockery of his belief. And the mockery is not the, for the purpose of the mockery, but for the purpose of showing the truth. If you have the truth, the mockery will not affect you. You should not be really, uh, you know, I mean, still you are a believer. Okay. What kind of belief is the one who make you go and kill somebody because he made fun of uh, somebody you believe in? If, if your God is a true God, he can kill them, those who did make a mockery. Let us say I made a mockery of Muhammad. What about Allah now? He sent like a thunder and he hit me in my head or in my toes, or in my nose, and then I will die. Then I will accept that, okay, that's God. God, he made me. God, he took me. But not you. Muhammad is a human being like me. He made a mockery of me. I have the right to make a mockery of him. Right? So, uh, so those ideas, you know, those people, they have like a, what they call it today, uh, open-minded. I find them very funny, not logical, far away from logic. They say, like somebody would say to you, I'm very open-minded. I don't know what does that mean. This is the most stupid statement ever. You are open-minded, so what if somebody wants to sleep with your wife? Are you open-minded with that too? What if your wife, she like to have a, a new partner? Are you open-minded with that? What if your husband, he wants to sleep around? Uh, that, that is the only way to be open-minded. You accept anything. Open mind is somebody who has no mind, which means he mind nothing. So I find it a very stupid phrase from a stupid human being. What if I take your sandwich from you right now? Are you open minded for that? What if somebody go to your house, take your take, you know, kick you out from the house, stay there? Are you open minded? All right. Will you debate in Arabic? <clears throat> sure. Why not? Bring me a sheikh who speak Arabic, we will debate in Arabic. And we will translate right away for the audience. Let your sheikh, if you don't speak English, either he, he, he translate himself, which means he have to repeat that what he said twice. Once in English, once in Arabic, or he bring with him somebody, he speak, he translate English.
no problem all right i'm not looking at the text really too much anyway so uh don't be the from those people who keep saying we are open-minded because this is a very serious statement mean nothing it means literally nothing not a single person on this earth is an open-minded really nobody but they claim that they are and they teach their kids in school to be open-minded but if you if you if you go in details about this open-minded thing you will find that it's not true if you say something they like let us say the liberals if you say something they don't like it they call you uh, Islamophobic or they call you uh, uh, racist or they, and they, they give you a label what, what, what is the open-minded people people who accept anything you know what I mean if you are really an open-minded you accept whatever people say you don't mind but they mind everything and they, they call themselves open-minded. Do you understand what I'm saying? How you are an open-minded and the second a person he says, I don't believe that, uh, uh, let us say, uh, anything about, let us say, gay, lesbian, or about uh, ethnic, or about languages. The second you say anything, they label you and suddenly those who they are open-minded are so angry. They are not open-minded. Regardless if your opinion is wrong or right, you know, you can say an opinion offending many people. It might be wrong, according to me, but it's wrong, it's right according to you. But the open-minded people, they will not accept anything unless it's agree with them. So they are the same as Muhammad the terrorist. Muhammad the terrorist, he accepts anything, he's open-minded as long as you agree with him. He's very open-minded. Like you go on, you know, you, you look what uh, CNN and the TV stations speak about Trump. They make him racist, they make him KKK, they make him the devil. The virus now is a, is a Trump virus, they changed the name of it, it's not coronavirus. That's it. If you say what they say, you are welcome in their TV. If you are not, they will silence you in the street. They are not open-minded. They might even attack you. You know what I mean? Those liberals, if you speak to them, they are open-minded about anything, as long as they agree with you. The second you don't agree, they are all over you like Muhammad. You are racist, you are sexist. You know, a guy, he said, uh, 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 Trump, he said, a crazy Nancy. You cannot say that to a woman. That is, a, that is sexist. What does it have to do with the women? What does it have to So if I say now, crazy Nancy, I'm, I'm against women. I mean, you see how open-minded they are? They try to frame you. They try to smear you. They try to make you evil, the devil. And they are the most open-minded ever. So where is the open-minded one? <clears throat> they are not exist. Especially between the liberals. The liberals are the last one. Who is the one burning cars? Liberals. Who is the one attacking people in the street? Antifa. They are open-minded. Say you are gay, they give you a hug. Say you are straight, they hate you. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is weird. Say you are a Christian, oh, this, yuck, get out of here. Say you are a Trump supporter, they will kick you out from the restaurant. They are very really open-minded. So this open-minded propaganda is absolutely false, does not exist. And mockery is a lifestyle of many society in the world starting from the liberals before the conservative so if you are a liberal you think you are open-minded you have open brain bleeding not open-minded nothing there is true why you don't see me say metaphor in quran yeah i see metaphor in the quran yeah i see the metaphor so the quran when he promised you vagina which never been 
boom boom but it was a metaphor what is the metaphor of it hmm? when the quran says women they did not bleed in their vagina give me the metaphor of that one i'm waiting for you anyway <clears throat> So I'm not going to stay long because I promised my neighbors to uh, to be with them, and uh, I wish I can get you some cookies. I hope I hope their cookies is good. Uh, so don't stay away from those. Uh, you know, I mean, don't be foolish. Excuse my English. Sometimes I I have difficulty to find words fit with uh, what we we say uh, or what I want to say. Uh, there's nothing that's called open-minded and those who speak about it too much they are the most unopen minded ever just don't agree with them and you will see the real open-minded people if you attack jesus they are open-minded to that if you attack trump they are open-minded to that if you are uh he's you know this woman she the judge she will vote against abortion well, where is the open-minded she is a human being she can choose she is a judge Oh no, we will tell her from now what she can say, what she can believe. Where is the open-minded people? You see the hypocrisy? So they want to choose a person who only fit with their propaganda. If the other person, he choose a person fit with his agenda, no, that's wrong. So you can choose, but they cannot choose. Uh, so... Be aware from the stupid ones who always post. I'm not saying this person who posts this is stupid. Maybe he did not think deep about it. Uh, but don't be a shallow person who say things without thinking. Nothing in this earth is open-minded. What if somebody want to take your bank account money? Be open-minded. You need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just be open-minded. What's wrong with you? What if somebody, he like your wife? Your wife, she is a pretty. And he like her. He's a human being. Be open-minded. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and uh, if you are sitting in the restaurant and somebody grab your food, don't be upset. Be open-minded. He is angry. You know? Actually, we saw Antifa doing that to people in the, in the restaurant, right? So, I mean... They speak about things they are the last one who to believe in and to practice. The last ones to practice the open-minded you know, sentence, if we can say, is the liberals. You say to them, I don't believe in this, they beat you. They are violent, the same as Muhammad, the same as ISIS. Go and see the videos, go and, and watch. But they are very open-minded people. So, I'm not a fool. Your open-minded is not convincing to me. And it, it's a, it is a, just a pure lie. All right? So, anyway, I made a video. It's long. I wouldn't want to stay here for long. Just I wanted to answer this uh, uh, person. And we are already for how long here? Uh, we are here... since when we are here I don't know maybe we're half hour now so anyway I think this is enough and my advice to everybody never be open-minded never be otherwise you have to learn how to agree with anything people say to you and you cannot be that it's impossible this is what open-minded if you think about it means and those who, who, who promote this idea about being open-minded, they are the last one to be open-minded. They don't practice it. Actually, they are, the op they are very close-minded. But they use that phrase to, to frame you. Just to frame you for the purpose of their agenda. A person speak against Islam, he's Islamophobic. Why he's Islamophobic? He don't like Islam. Islam, he have, his, he have his reason to refuse it. The same, you have a reason to accept it. He have a reason to refuse it. Oh, no, you are a phobia. When Muhammad, all his life, he is doing nothing except attacking Christian and Jews, so he have a phobia too? No, he can't do that, you cannot do this. The prayer with the Muslims, pray every day, five times a day, is an insult to the Christian and the Jews, saying to Allah, please don't make us the same as the, as, as, as the lost Christians and the same as the cursed Jews. 
every day, the first thing in the morning, before even they wash their bum. So how come you accept a religion saying such a thing? They are open-minded for somebody says, I'm going to kill anyone, don't believe in me. It's okay, he can do that. The second you say, I'm a Christian, they say to you, the crusade. Do you remember the crusade? <laughs> but they will not tell you that the crusade happened because of Muslims attack to our land. Not the opposite. The Christian never attack any Islamic land. Egypt is not Islamic land, never was. Iraq never was. Syria never was. Jordan never was, Morocco never was, Tunisia never was, etc. And not to forget the Constantinia and they are taking our churches. Be open-minded. All right? Anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will try to go again uh, at night. Uh, one of you he asked me to change the timing <clears throat> make it more earlier for people in Indonesia because it's late for them to be with us for now they will be sleeping for sure so I will I will see what we can do uh, stay tuned we will update you about our coming broadcast until we go live on air again I say may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false made by a dummy for the dummy and those who are open-minded, good luck with your hypocrisy, for none of you is open-minded. It's just a statement you say, but you don't practice every day. Thank you. God bless you, and see you soon. Bye-bye.